Well, two weeks of intense competition about to get underway in southern Utah, but the World Tournament is not for the usual sports played in sunny St. George like soccer, tennis, or softball. Yeah, how about horseshoe tossing? Lad Egan live in St. George. Lad, uh, how many competitors are we talking about here? Well, we're talking about a thousand competitors from all over the world, even Africa, all coming to St. George for this horseshoe uh, pitching competition. And this is the first time St. George has hosted this unique tournament. This is different than anything that's ever happened in the convention center before. The Dixie Center has been transformed with 42 exactly measured horseshoe courts. Instead of the usual blue clay, the horseshoe pits are Southern Utah style, filled with red clay, keeping the horseshoes from sliding once they land. It could be like this, it could be like this, it could be like this. More than a thousand competitors from five different countries will all contend for the championship title. All they've got to do is get a whole lot of ringers. As long as you can draw a straight line and without touching the stake, then that's a ringer. Bill Marvin is here from Illinois. He's been competing for 25 years. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. <laughs> it's a rare group of people. They're friendly. They're genuine. Jerry Labrosse from Minnesota has been playing since a teenager. The tattoo on his leg says it all. This is my lifelong passion. He now serves as vice president for the National Horseshoe Pitchers Association and says they picked Utah in part because of the scenery and national parks. I'm telling everybody in our tournament that I talked to, I said there's one thing you've got to do here and that's go see Zion Park. It does bring a new demographic, a new audience into the area and introduces them to a place that they may not have seen before. This competition kicks off this weekend and uh, it goes for two weeks. And the great thing about it is it's held inside where it's air conditioned and it's open to the public. So anyone interested and come by and take a look at this. And I did some research and found that this competition was actually held in Utah 13 times after World War II. The last was back in 1966. So Mark and Shauna, after almost a 50 year hiatus, it's great to have the horseshoe pitchers back in the beehive state. Back to you. Well, Mark was worried because he thought Southern Utah was pickleball. Yeah, I thought pickleball it was the pickleball territory. capital of the world. Now, now it's horseshoes. <laughs> Everything unique happens here. I can tell yeah. you that. You got it. You got it, lad. Thanks.